Hi there, Mr. Holcomb here with another episode of The Path Behind the Modules. This is Lesson 8, Replacing Numbers with Letters. Okay, so the classwork opening exercise is to take a look at these equations. 4 plus 0 equals 4. 4 times 1 equals 4. 4 divided by 1 equals 4. 4 times 0 equals 0. And 1 divided by 4 equals 4. How many of these statements are true? All of them are true. How many of those statements would be true if the number 4 was replaced with the number 7 in each of the number sentences? So in other words, 7 plus 0 equals 7. 7 times 1 equals 7. 7 divided by 1 equals 7. 7 times 0 equals 0. 1 divided by 7 equals 1. 7. Those are all true. All of them. Would the number sentences be true if we were to replace the number 4 with any other number? Be careful. Think about it. I can put any number in place of 4 here and add 0 to it and get that back. Even 0. 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 times 1 is 0. 0 divided by 1 is 0. 0 times 0 is 0. But if I take 1 divided by 0, so if I plug 0 in here, I'd get 1 divided by 0. We're replacing the 4s, remember, so don't let that confuse you. We're replacing these values. So if I replace the 4 with 0, 1 divided by 0 is undefined. You cannot divide 1 by 0. Okay, so here's my calculator. So what I was saying was, 1, divide 0, enter, error, divide by 0. The calculator just stops and says, you can't do that. Either quit or go back and change something. Okay, so we cannot divide by 0. So, would the number sense be true if we were to replace the number of 4 with any other number? And I would say, no. Um, the first 4... Yes, but we can't substitute zero in the last sentence. What if we replace the number 4 with the number 0? Would the, each of the number sentences be true? Okay, well, I've already answered that. Okay. So, in all actuality, I could have actually just written this down here as well. Okay. What if we replace number 4 with the letter G? Please write all four expressions below. Replace each 4 with a G. So it's 4 plus 0 equals 4. So now it's going to be g plus 0 equals g. The second one is 4 times 1 equals 4. g times 1 equals g. The third one is 4 divided by 1 equals 4. G divided by 1 equals G. And then 4 times 0 equals 0. That would be G times 0 equals 0. And then finally the last one says 1 divided by 4 equals 1, 4. 1 divided by G equals 1 over G. Okay, but I'm going to add something here. I'm going to put except when g equals zero for this one. 
we cannot divide by zero. Every other number we plug in, that will be true. Are these all true except for g equals zero when dividing? And the answer is yes. Additive identity property of zero. Additive identity. In other words, what can we add to any number and not change it? So here we have g plus zero equals g. No matter what g is, what I add to zero to it, it's going to stay the same. If g were seven, seven plus zero is seven, and so on and so on. Okay, that's the additive identity. Remember, a letter in a mathematical expression represents a number. Can we replace g with any number? The answer is yes. Choose a value for g and replace g with a number in the equation. So if I chose negative 4, if I said g equals negative 4, therefore, instead of writing, let's try that again. Instead of writing g plus 0 equals g, we're going to write negative 4 plus 0 equals negative 4. What do you observe? Additive identity property of 0. Any number added to 0 is equal to itself. And it says to repeat this process several times, each time choosing a different number for g. Um, I will leave that up to you, but it is true. Will all values of g result in a true number sentence? The answer is yes. Write a mathematical language for the property below. Okay, g plus zero equals g. Additive identity property of zero. Any number added to zero equals itself. Okay. Example two multiplicative identity property of one. So any number g times one equals that any number g. Remember, a letter in a mathematical expression represents a number. Can we replace G with any number? The answer is yes. Okay, I paused for a moment there. I don't like to just blurt out an answer. I really like to think positives, negatives, decimals, fractions, zeros. And are we covering everything? And will it always come back the same? And then think about your answer before just quickly saying Will all values of g result in a true number sentence? Can I multiply anything by 1 and get anything back? Or is there going to be a problem with some number like 0? Okay, and so I would try 0. 0 times 1 equals 0. That is getting back to what we started with. That's okay. Negative 5 times 1 equals... Negative 5 times 1 equals negative 5. So I got back what I started with. Uh, 4.3 times 1 equals 4.3. So I'm checking decimals. I checked uh, positive number. 8 times 1 equals 8. I checked a negative number, and I checked 0. So it looks like it's true for everything. And it says write the mathematical language for this property below. So I would say g times 1 equals g. Multiplicative identity property of one. What that means is no matter what I multiply something by a, a number by one, I'm always going to get that number by back. Equals that so. Okay, example three, the commutative property of addition and multiplication. So here's our example, three plus four equals four plus three. Well, that's true, three plus four is seven. Four plus three is seven. Three times four equals four times three. Three times four is 12. 
4 times 3 is 12. So that's also true. So it says here, replace the threes in these number sentences with the letter A. A plus 4 equals 4 plus A. A times 4 equals 4 times A. Choose a value for A and replace A with that number in each of the equations. Here's what you observe. And number number do I want? Um, how about 7? Seven? 7 plus 4 equals 4 plus 7. 11 equals 11. A is 7 times 4 equals 4 times 7. 28 equals 28. What do I observe? I observe that every time I pick a number, no matter what order we add or multiply, we get the same answer. Will all values of A result in a true number sentence? Experiment with different values before making your point. Okay. The answer is yes. Because if I multiply 0, I don't even try 0. 0 times 3 equals 3 times 0. Yes, that's true. 0 equals 0. 0 plus 3 equals 3 plus 0, 3 equals 3, that's true. So I'd say yes. And now write the equations again, this time replacing the number 4 with the variable b. So we had a plus 4, and we're going to change that to b, equals b plus a. a times b equals b times a. Will all values of A and B result in true number sentences for the first two equations? And I'm going to say yes. It says to experiment before making my claim, so let's pretend I didn't write yes. Let's make A equal to 7, B equal to negative 2. 7 plus negative 2 equals negative 2 plus 7. 5 equals 5. 7 times negative 2 equals negative 2 times 7. Negative 14 equals negative 14. Now I'm going to say yes. Write the mathematical language for this property below. A plus B equals B plus A. It's the commutative property. Addition. Order. Doesn't. Then I'm going to say A times B equals B times A. And that is the commutative property of multiplication. Again, order doesn't. Okay, example four. 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 equals 4 times 3. 3 divided by 4 equals 3 over 4. Replace the 3s in these number sentences with the letter A. A plus A plus A plus A equals 4. A divided by 4 equals A over 4. This 4A can also be written like this, 4 times A. I'm 
going to start getting away from having a variable x because variables are just that. We use letters that mean they're numbers. So that time symbol looks like a variable x. So this could mean 4 times x times a, where x could be 2 and a could be 5, and you'd get 40. But it, at this moment, I will just say it 4 times a, or simply 4. Alright, choose a value for a and replace a with that number in each of the equations. Okay, and what do you look like? So if I have I don't want to use the same number they did, which was three. So if I replace a with any number, how about I don't know, it doesn't matter. Keep it small, how about five? 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 equals, okay, so I'm just copying this, equals 4 times 5. The other equation was 3 divided by 4 equals 3 quarters, or a divided by 4 equals a over 4. So 5 divided by 4 equals 5 over 4. So what do you observe? As long as you aren't dividing by 0, these are always going to be true, or we can get a solution. Wow, the results are always going to be a true sentence. Will all values of A result in a true number sentence? The answer is yes. And now we'll write the equations again, this time replacing number 4 with the variable. So what they're saying is we're going to take that a that we just changed. To say a plus b equals b plus a. And then a times b. It's the same as saying b times a. says, will all values of a and b result in a true number sentence for the equations? And the answer is yes. If you want to try some numbers, try them, see if it's true, but the answer will not be true. Okay, that is the end of lesson eight. Go to your prompts.